All right, y'all. Hey, what's up? And welcome to another alternative factuals video on the. So, you already know what the vibe is. It's gonna be Black Lightning, and I believe this might be the next week. There might not be any video because officially I'm going to be um like I said I've been in the process of moving, so I think next week is pretty much my final week, and I'm gonna have to be out by the 13th. So I'm just letting you guys know that there might not be a video for next week. If there is, it's gonna be either super early in the week, or it might be like a live stream thing. It might be for my phone, maybe not, but whatever. Um, also, before I dive into the usual, um, for the most part, I'm going to be covering anything that has any black characters in it. So that can be anything ranging from shows like The Boys, um, anything comic book related for sure. Um, I might do some other stuff because occasionally I do like your, um, basically I do a couple videos about uh, Stranger Things and other series and stuff like that that do have comics but may, maybe not like a superhero comic kind of thing like you're used to. But also check out the podcast with uh, the Justice League. It's going to be me uh, basically with the Blurred Without Fear who I've done a couple or well, multiple videos, you know, in terms of collaboration wise. Uh, one Above None is somebody else who I'm very cool with part of the justice league family fantastic frankie and we'll probably have some other people come on depending on you know the topic and the subject matter but whatever so um be sure to like share and of course subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're feeling and without further ado let's talk about this black lightning season three episode 15 so uh i'm gonna say this whoever is writing black lightning as of right now is doing an incredible job and um, I say this for multiple reasons. One, um, even when you're watching the TV show The Flash, uh, the first and second season, everyone can universally agree, was the best seasons out of the entire show of The Flash. Um, by the time I got to the third season, which was basically, I, if I'm correctly, Savitar, first season was Reverse Flash, second season was Zoom, third season was another speedster, which was Savitar, basically. Then I think season four was DeVoe, and then season five was, uh, I think season five was out now, if I remember correctly. Or, uh, yeah, but, um, whatever. You, you get the point. Usually, when it comes to the Arrowverse, um, typically when it gets to about season three, that's when you start to see changes in the show, which starts to suffer in the writing department. But um, Black Lightning has continued to actually get better. So let me, let me, let me, let's, let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk, because I'm actually really excited about this episode. So we have Gravedigger. We already discovered in the last episode that Gravedigger is the original, officially in the Arrowverse post-crisis as the first metahuman in recorded history. Meaning he was the first experiment when it came to not even just green light, I mean just in general, them trying to activate the metagene to make this super soldier. He was the first. Now in this episode, he gave a little bit of his backstory, which like I said, a lot of it coincides with his comic book origin, where he was a part of a unit where he actually had to dig graves for a lot of the soldiers that were killed. But basically he put a little twist to it by saying like he buried his enemies. So um, after we kind of see this in the episode, for the most part, um, we'll say the most part, but the episode is just building on the anticipation of episode 16, where a lot of this is, you know, a lot of how they felt in terms of what they felt before they have to go to war. And of course, Jennifer being the teenager that she is and her feeling like, oh, yes, I'm the most powerful. I'm the most powerful, whatever like that. Um, yeah, she does have the most potential. She does have the most power in terms of what she is capable of tapping into and generating in a single moment. In well, according to the TV show. Now, Jennifer went into this with no information. She was assuming that it was his base form basically what he was doing when they were in markovia just him able to tell people what to do blah 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 now she did not have the same information as lynn and black lightning and gammy is that he now officially has multiple powers and let's kind of explain that for a little bit Gravedigger, since he was the original metahuman, I mean the first completely stabilized metahuman that ever succeeded in the experiment. He got the freshest formula. There was no diluting of the formula when it comes to genetic coding, anything like that. He got the freshest of the batch and he was the first. Meaning, what we saw initially when Dr. Jace and Lynn was explaining like, hey, this is what this is going to be like when he actually absorbs a power. At first, Lynn thought he was going to have a powers, like basically powers for a month. When in reality, Dr. J said something very, 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 very scary. And that is the fact that because he's a first metahuman, because he's the first one to have been stabilized in such a way, because he was the first person to actually get the first and non-diluted version of the metahuman serum that activated his metagene, basically his body can retain 
100% of the powers that he injects himself with and he can use it at 100% maximum output and have 0% retention damage which basically means he can use all the powers at the same time to its maximum capacity and retain no I mean literally none of the side effects that cause these powers to have any setbacks in the first place which makes him actually in a lot of ways potentially genetically potentially more powerful than Jennifer because in reality he can get her powers he can get Black Lightning's powers he can get TC's powers he can get everyone's powers and literally just keep stacking powers keep stacking powers and then when he keeps stacking powers and he's retaining them permanently, that means he will officially be like this metahuman who can just absorb or just keep picking up metahuman abilities and it will not negatively affect his body. And he's, he's basically trying to do what DeVoe did, but he's doing it a lot better. His body doesn't require a perfect form or a perfect uh, suitable I guess subject he is the perfect subject he is the original subject meaning he can retain all that power and basically he's achieving what every super powered mastermind has ever wanted to do since the beginning of time achieve ultimate power and keep it without none of the side effects and that is what he's capable of doing that's why I said in that other video I think that he potentially can be one of the most dangerous villains because his original power off the rip he can definitely put some things in motion for a fact even without the extra powers now that we've confirmed that he's the original metahuman and we confirm that yes he can retain those powers with none of the side effects at 100% maximum output he's gonna be a problem so I can't actually wait until we see that fight because that episode 15 left me off at a cliffhanger when black lightning is about to clash with uh, gravedigger and I was just like no yeah I need to stop playing games with me because I really want to see that fight because I, I have no idea how Jefferson's gonna win because think about it Jefferson is a descendant or you know related descendant to Gravedigger in the first place which is something I actually want to talk about in a second but basically Gravedigger has the experience Gravedigger has the powers now remember Gravedigger does not have the experience with the other powers However, he does have experience when it comes to hand-to-hand -hand combat, as well as using his base power, which is basically him being able to dominate other people's wills, as well as his enhanced strength and speed. Now, Black Lightning can win the fight if he realizes these powers are new and he does not have the type of experience that he needs in order to fully master these abilities. But just the fact of the matter is he has all these powers in the first place, first place and he knows how to use it in such a basic form Imagine fighting one dude who's basically had the power of five different people and can use them at the same time And as he's kind of learning and figuring them out because we've seen that gravedigger is actually a very intelligent guy Master combatant and actually a masterful tactician That means he will start to learn while he's fighting and basically know that certain powers that he may retain in his body Can actually go hand in hand with each other which basically means he can start combining abilities Which is gonna start to look more like a you know my hero academia kind of thing when it came to like Kirk mining or cork mining whatever instant whatever this pronunciation but basically he's meta gene mining basically he's using certain abilities that's going to start complementing other abilities but let's talk about the whole fact that gravedigger is black lightning's ancestor that is a twist that I not, actually did not see coming. Now, there was somebody in the comments, I'm gonna forget who it was. They actually were saying, like, it would be cool if Gravedigger was like Brandon's father. That would have been cool. And they were on, they were obviously on the right track. Their mind was in the right headspace. And, you know, it made sense. And even then, I would have like, that would have been a dope thing. And I think that was a pretty obvious outcome in a sense, the more you thought about it. Like, you know, Brandon thought his father died when in reality, Gravedigger was his dad. So he really didn't die. I mean, it's still technically possible, which can technically make Brandon you know related to black lightning uh by making him his like great great cousin what i don't know his cousin whatever but the twist that i didn't expect coming was a simple fact that yes they made black lightning a descendant of gravedigger and it kind of makes sense in reality because in the episode they actually said it um herself which was basically lynn having a conversation with jefferson when he was having his drink but um so she said it makes sense because black lightning when it comes to his genes and the fact that he was able to produce two kids who were stable metahumans it makes sense the reason why his body took to the green light so perfectly the reason why compared to him in the 60s and compared to the other kids who were in the 60s who were basically in those tubes and the reason why their powers were not stable was you know a bit of a mystery 
but it actually makes sense because of his pool meaning his family his lineage for some reason there's something about his family's genes that means they're able to produce stable meta humans now obviously the stability of their powers or the chances of how stable their powers are obviously are going to dilute the more they reproduce and have kids and stuff like that that's just how genetics works you know you introduce new genes to the gene pool then eventually you know it'll split off kind of combine with those other genes and break off blah 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 blah, blah. but as of right now it seems like the genes are still pretty much strong because it's only been about 70 years which means it's only been about a generation or two in terms of you know actual people who have been born and you know deceased since then so it's still pretty powerful but um for the most part yes it kind of does make sense the fact i've always wondered that i think i said that in a couple other videos i've wondered why jefferson is like the only person who out of all those kids who experienced the green light back in the day back in the 60s when he was a kid much like the other kids from the flu vaccination that they gave why was he the only one who was stable or one of the very few people who were stable compared to like the rest of them who their powers pretty much either killed them and or pretty much almost killed them so it actually is a nice little twist to it that kind of still syncs up with the rest of the story and what they established already within the first two seasons of black lightning so that was just amazing um but i'm i'm gonna wrap it up here you know i feel like i'm the more i talk about it the more excited i get because it's literally the episode before the last and they're doing a phenomenal job with the writing they have literally been slowly building from each episode each episode has been relevant to the next episode and tying into the whole universe of black lightning as well as the fact that this could in total like you know the totality of black lightning in this season actually could have a massive effect on other shows like the flash uh, you know, the new Arrow show supposedly that's supposed to be coming out, um, Legends of Tomorrow, Supergirl, and Superman, the show that's going to be coming out, and Batwoman, and all this stuff could affect, you know, the totality of the Arrowverse because they're, in a way, rewriting history, saying the first official metahuman was a gravedigger, which, you know, means in reality that, you know, the Flash TV show was not the first person to create metahumans, or if you want to go by the Arrow with the whole Mirakuru thing, which is, I classify as more of an enhanced human thing. Basically, Khalil is on that level enhancement, even though I think he's more powerful than someone who's on Mirakuru, but whatever. Um, basically, they're rewriting the timeline, basically saying that, yes, he was the first metahuman and he has a potential to be the most powerful. And Jennifer already is her powers are off the charts. Now, imagine Gravedigger getting his hand on those powers or somehow he's able to even absorb powers of people who necessarily got powers from other means like the particle accelerator so it's going to be very interesting there's a lot of things going on when it comes to black lightning they're doing some excellent writing and um they're, they're still meshing everything together so perfectly while still maintaining its ability to be relatable so uh, let me know what you think in the comments let me know what you thought about episode 15 let me know what you thought about season three in general and let me know what you think is going to happen in season well season three episode 16 um i can't wait to see the fight with gravedigger and black lightning um i still believe black lightning should get a power boost because even though he's stable i feel like somehow his powers i feel like there's something else going on there which actually in, re in reality i think they have the genetic potential to retain more than one ability but you know that's a video for another day but uh if you're new to the channel please be sure to like share and of course subscribe leave your comments down below let me know what you're thinking let me know what you're feeling and uh i hope to see you later on Ooh.